So we are here sitting on the sign outside of our lovely school. I don't know if you can see the school in the background, but it looks nice. It does look very nice. And we are here on top of the sign that everyone drives by when they see it. Yeah, and they're like, oh, well, look, that's Norristown. Hi, Norristown. Yep. Well, the class of 2018, which is going to be graduating soon, they're trying to start off their little 2018 fun. 2018 has four more years until they graduate. That is not soon. Well, I mean, four, four years fly by real fast. Ben, you would know. You're a senior. I am, yes. I have 15 days left of school. 15. 15. Ow. Are you going to cry? I used up 705 of my 720 days of high school. Crazy, right? Ben, you weren't here every single day. Almost every single day. But you weren't. Well, we can just think that I was. So anyways, why don't, you go, why don't we go find out what the class of 2018 is planning so that they can make their next four years of high school as happy as possible. Hi, I'm Brianna Kelly here talking with Mr. Troutman and Mrs. Venezia about the upcoming fundraisers that the class of 2018 is having. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Sure. So what is the upcoming fundraiser? Well, Brianna, next week on May 12th, which is an early day for the faculty and students, the class of 18, 2018 is having a fundraiser at Bertucci's Restaurant in Audubon. And this is an all-day event that students, faculty, administrators, anyone in the district could attend, or even just your family and friends. And 15% of all the proceeds we raise will go towards events for the class of 2018. Um, you could eat in, you could take out, and you do need this flyer here. It is, um, we could. Mm -hmm. And I think they also deliver, so you can do all this from the comfort of your own couch if you want. Like, yes. you don't even have to move. Yes, for our faculty Sounds here like at school that. on Tuesday, since it's an early day, we are offering the faculty here at the high school delivery that they can order their lunch through James or myself, and they will deliver it right to school. Mm -hmm. But also for students and their family and friends, you could go to the restaurant and have dinner or late lunch, and we will get 15% of any profits we make. So oh. we thought it'd be a good idea mm -hmm. for the, something different for the class. Awesome. How did you guys come up with the idea of Bertucci's? I think years ago, a couple of years ago, I think another set of sponsors did it, and um, it was just, we were kind of brainstorming, and we had a group of kids, and we were all just trying to come up with ideas. And I think it was Marion who said, like, hey, th this has been done before, and I remember that it worked. So, you know, just offering that option, and especially knowing with the number of early Tuesdays that we have at the yeah. end of the year, um, it's good to bring in something nice, something different, and for the faculty. Okay, and how will the um, flyers work? Do you have to bring them in, or? If you're ordering, like if you're a teacher at the high school and you're ordering it to be delivered for lunch on that day, you do not need the flyer. You would just need to email myself or Marion with your order. But considering that it's probably more the general community who's gonna be watching this interview, you do need a flyer. Um, we have the flyer, and what we can do is if you, know, if you have a child in the high school or at any other schools, they just can ask, and we can have the flyer emailed around. Um, but they do need that flyer in order to, to get the meal unless they are with us on that day. Okay, will there be flyers at Bertucci's in case you forget them? We are hoping to get some student volunteers who can go over there and do that, hoping being the mm -hmm. key word. Awesome, so um, what will this money go towards? Well, since they're only freshmen um, starting out, this is our second fundraiser we've held, it'll just be put in the freshman account towards future proms, hopefully a sophomore dance next year, um, just getting ready for the later years of high school when all the big events come up and then a lot of money's involved, so we wanted to start early while they're ninth graders to get the ball rolling so when junior year hits and there's a prom, we have some savings set aside. So it's, right now it's just going to be put in the bank for future yeah, freshmen activities. Just for them, really, activities. right now. It's, it's, all, yep. it's all for them at this point. Yep. Awesome. So what are your hopes for this fundraiser? We're hoping that people participate. <laughs> um, no, we're hoping that 
at least for our teachers here at the school, we're hoping that it's a show of morale, that everyone's coming together to help out our cause, to help out the freshman class, and to eat a good meal before we go into our professional development for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping that a number of families, both within the district and outside of the district, uh, take this opportunity to enjoy a, a good meal. I've been to Bertucci's a few times. They have very, very good food. Um, so we're hoping that they can take this opportunity to enjoy a nice family meal while contributing back to their community and their high school and in some cases even their alma mater. Awesome. So what would you suggest to get from Bertucci's? Hmm. I was there on Valentine's Day as a matter of fact and my husband had chicken parm <laughs> <laughs> And I had, I think, fettuccine alfredo. Everything's good. They have little garlic knots, mm -hmm. and it's just a very nice, nice family type Italian restaurant. Not too expensive, so you could take your family and come out of there without a huge yeah. bill, which is nice. It's like yeah. a mid-range restaurant, and um, and don't forget, it is the Audubon location only. Mm -hmm. And I had these last time I was there. I had these like tortellini things. They were <laughs> fantastic. That's yeah. that would be. My suggestion only, I know anything that goes, that they make right in the coal stove mm -hmm. oven, Ooh. let it sit for 30 seconds, otherwise... <laughs> you burn your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's good. advice that I did not follow last time, <laughs> and I kind of regretted it, but, you know, Some let it sit advice. for 30 seconds, it's delicious. They have a cold... cold they have a coal, coal, stone? coal stone, or not, maybe not coal, I don't know, it's like a wood... It, it's like a, where they put the oven. pizzas in? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's like, and one of the cool things about... Uh, Bertucci's as you walk in and like right there in the middle is this oven. Awesome. So they'll boil the pasta, they'll add the sauce, they'll throw like mozzarella on top and then they'll put it in the oven for five minutes. Some real and that way, it, yeah, that way the cheese <laughs> like gets all gooey and melty and all that. It's, it's really good. If you're carb counting though, not so much. But, <laughs> okay, well, but they do yeah. offer salads. Oh, yeah. They have salads. So that's all that matters. <laughs> So what are some of the other fundraisers that you've been doing so far? Well, we still have t-shirts. Um, we started the t-shirt fundraiser a couple of months ago. Um, we, order, we ordered the shirts. We allowed students to, like we had a pre-sale. Um, now we're selling them at lunch. So, you know, ninth graders or anyone are encouraged to buy them. Um, we are modeling the shirts today. Yes. Are these the shirts that you these got? Are the these shirts. are the shirts. Do they have shirts? anything on the back? Or no, they just plain? They I like them. Well, thank nice you. Nice and white for the summer. I would mm -hmm. definitely get one, but you know, I'm class of 2016. But yeah, maybe I'm thinking well, about it. <laughs> they white out just that I'll part just of white the out eight, the 18, you know? maybe like yeah. just the one part and make it a six. There you yeah. go. That and, and in the future, depending on, you know, how we do on this sale, we may have other more universal apparel sales next year um, that aren't 2018 specific. One thing that we're looking ahead to do is we're going to encourage all of the freshmen to have this shirt become our show of like being a unified class yep. for next year's pep rally because awesome. I know we got off to a late start this year and we didn't have anything in place for this year's pep rally so awesome. that's kind of that's this could be like an official shirt for that awesome official um, pep rally shirt mm -hmm. school and um, we just we'd say stay tuned for what we're going to do in the fall because we haven't really thought that far ahead yet but you'll get there right so exactly no so um, what are the dates for the Bertucci Fundraiser, one it's more time. Tuesday, May 12th, all day long, mm -hmm. Audubon, Bertucci's, mm -hmm. and 15% of everything will go towards our class. Yeah, but it's only Tuesday. Okay, only that day. Only that yes. day. Yes, only yeah. Tuesday, May 12th. And Wait. they close at 10 p.m., so no midnight oh. snacks from them. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> all right, well, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, buy our shirts. Go to Bertucci's. Have some yeah. pasta. Eat pasta. Italian food. <laughs> and stay tuned. Awesome. Thank you for being here today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for very much, us. Brianna. I'm Brianna Kelly talking with the advisors of the class of 2018. Guys, go to Bertucci's and get some great Italian food. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.